What's up everybody? My name is Justin and welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Tears. On today's video, we're branching out a little bit. We're going with some single malt. To be precise, westward American single malt cast strength. Okay, so just picked this bottle up today, actually. I was in one of my favorite local stores. They had this one, the cast strength, and they had one that was finished in stout barrels that the whiskey looked a little bit darker, but the proof was a little bit lower. So I was back and forth between which one I wanted to get. And since I've never had a, whisk, a Westward product before, I decided to just go ahead and go with the cast strength and see what our base level whiskey is looking like. First of all, these are some of the coolest bottles, I think, on the market. They've got this like decanter-like, diamond top almost. They've got some cool labeling, some embossment, some of the gold lettering, the purple label on this one, which is uh, pretty different than what you see on most whiskeys out there. It is an American single malt whiskey. It is 100% malted barley on this guy. All distilled and made out in Oregon by Westward. This one is the cast strength version. It's coming in at 125 proof. So I saw it on the shelf for $100 at the store. I figured since I'm getting more proof of whiskey than per dollar, I figured I would go ahead and pick it up and try it. Do something a little bit different on the channel rather than just all the bourbons we've been doing recently. I'm gonna do the American Single Malt. It's a whiskey of the elements, distinct and full of flavor, unfiltered, upstanding, and uncut single malt American whiskey raised in Oregon. So just some basic stuff here on the back from Westward. So I've been looking at Westward for a while. I've seen their bottles. I've seen their advertisements, been really excited about trying them. Finally decided to pull the plug, pull the trigger and uh, go ahead and try it today. So like I said, just bought this today. Haven't even completely popped it yet. I only uh, took the uh, little plastic wrapper off there. So we're going to go ahead and pop it. We're going to get the nosing out of the bottle. We're going to taste it and then we're going to rank it on the tier system. All right. It's a, like I said, I love this bottle. This bottle looks awesome. Really cool one to have on your shelf. Nice cork there. Really big topper on it, which I appreciate. It's not a tiny little guy. Like a lot of these things are really tiny. It's a nice big hefty guy. All right, let's get the nosing here on the American. See, have I had an American single malt before? I don't even know if I've actually ever had a sing an American single malt. Obviously I have scotches and things like that, but I don't know if I've ever had an American single malt. I almost feel like I might have one somewhere, but I also feel like I don't. Anyway, let's get the nosing straight out of the bottle. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but this channel and these videos are getting quite expensive to make. So if you're at all interested in supporting the channel and getting something cool for yourself, consider checking out my Etsy shop, link down in the description. Pick yourself up a cool whiskey t-shirt. I currently have on the whiskey eggplant shirt. We've got a, several other designs, a couple of them here. We've got Bourbon Dad, and we've got Warning may contain bourbon, along with a bunch of other options on the Etsy site. Check that out down in the description below. Appreciate it a lot. Ooh, that's like uh, those caramelized nuts. Those caramelized cinnamon nuts that you get around Christmas time, like in the city. Like a caramelized butter pecan or a cashew with some orange in the background. A little bit of smokiness. That smells really nice. Sounds like a really sweet pecan or cashew. Like just covered in sugar, orange, maybe a little bit of honey. Definitely honey on there. Yeah, honey. Something else in the background. Couldn't quite tell what it is yet. All right, let's pour it out. Get the nosing out of the glass and then we'll taste this. American single malt ass. Okay, it is an actual real full cork too, which I appreciate. All right, first ever, I think, that I can remember experience with American single malt here on the Westward cask strength. 125 proof on this bad boy. Let's get the nosing straight out of the glass. Even a little bit more nutty, but a l little less of this. It's still very sweet and nutty, but a little less of like that candied nut. 
Definitely honey, some orange, maybe a hint of like a, like a, a clove cigarette. Maybe like a pecan pie. And pecan pie, maybe some fruitiness in there too. Peach, some peachiness, a little bit of like baking spices in there. It smells really good. I really like how it smells. Uh, in the glass, it's a little bit, a little bit light. It's got some darkness to it towards the top where it's a little bit thicker, but overall, it's an American single malt, so that's kind of what I expected. All right, it smells really good. Based on the bottle, the glass, how it smells and everything so far, really excited about it. Everything so far definitely worth $100, but the big question is, is it going to taste as good? Is it going to be worth it in the end when we drink it? Let's find out. Cheers, everybody. American single malt, 125 proof from Westward Whiskey down the guzzle. Okay, sweet tobacco is the first thing I get right out of the gates, like a really sweet tobacco. Like if you've ever had a one of the clove cigarettes, like without, without the like smokiness and all that and the like whatever you get from smoking a cigarette, have you ever had tasted the sweetness that you get from one of those? It's kind of what this tastes like. Super sweet. There's some super intense sweetness on there. It's like a really dense jam, like a peach jam almost, with some some pie spices and things in there. The tobaccoiness, definitely uh, tobaccoiness overtones on that. Really good so far. Mm, kind of like a. Have you ever just taken like a white bread and put honey on it and let that honey just soak in for just a second where it gets kind of that kind of hard crusty on the white bread and then you just chow down on it. Also kind of tastes like that. That is really good. It is really sweet. It is very tobacco-y. You can taste the proof. It is, it is a little bit hot at 125. Definitely goes down hot. So if you don't like it quite as hot, maybe consider proofing this down with water a little bit. Hey, make your whiskey go a little bit further for you. I don't know. I, I like the proofiness to it. It's a good thing for me. So I'm not complaining about that whatsoever, but I'm pleasantly surprised at how much I am liking this. I was a little bit nervous because I really haven't drank anything but bourbon in quite some time, especially here on the channel. So ooh, definitely lingers with that heat on the throat here, but it's like a, it's like a sticky honey heat with tobaccoiness and kind of like a, you get that, you definitely taste the maltiness in there. Yeah, depending on what you focus on, it's either super intense honey, it's obviously a nice, really strong sweetness, super intense honey, or you get kind of like the jammy, peachy pie-ness with the baking spices, or you get the really sweet tobacco. It's kind of goes back and forth of what you want to focus on. For me, what it leaves lingering in your mouth is a lot more of that real sweet honeyness with a little bit of heat from the proof and maybe uh, some almost like leftover tobacco, but not like, not like chunkiness, obviously, but just kind of like that leftover tobacco-y feeling if you just uh, maybe had a clove cigarette, something like that. So, hey, I'm really impressed. We're gonna take one more drink and then we're gonna rank this guy on the tier system. I mean, that's super sweet, super good. I'm impressed. Is this worth $100 from Westward? I think absolutely yes. I think it's really, really good. Based on this, I think I'm gonna have to probably hop back in the store at some point soon and pick up the one that's finished in those uh, beer stout barrels because that sounds excellent. The whiskey looked even darker than this one does, so probably excited to try that. But on the tier system, if I'm gonna rank this Westward single malt whiskey at cask strength, 125 proof, I think it's a pretty easy A tier for me. It is excellent. It's really good. It's really sweet. It's got some good fun notes in there. It smells really great. The bottle looks great. I like everything about it. So this is my first experience ever having Westward. Haven't had many, if any, experiences with American single malt previously. I do like scotches and uh, other types of malted whiskeys like I still think the Cavallon Vino Barrique Soloist is maybe my favorite whiskey of all time. I haven't done that yet on the channel. I've been waiting to do that one until maybe we get a little bit bigger following just because that's such a special bottle to me. But yeah, this is really good. The Westward American Single Malt Whiskey 
True to the Northwest, coming in at cash strength today is going on the A tier for me. It is damn good whiskey in that bottle and the bottle looks awesome. So have you guys had this? Should I go get that other one that's at the store, the one that's finished in those stout barrels, those beer stout barrels? Let me know down in the comments below if you've had this, what you think about my rating. If you agree or disagree, completely fine. If you don't agree at all, it's uh, what the channel's about. Everybody's got different likes in whiskey, but I appreciate you all watching. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. Let's grow this channel so I can keep drinking good whiskey in front of y'all. I really appreciate that. And here's to your next drink.